Okay, I've moved to another location now, and I kind of like this one. This is another place in my backyard. Um, I just noticed that I'm seeing part of a door over here, so I'm gonna probably either move that or I'm gonna adjust this slightly. Oh, that's all I needed. That was it, just a little bit of adjustment. So as you can see from the other camera, um, my B-roll camera that I've actually got a TV tray now or a TV table and just one of the boxes. And this is putting me right about at eye level, but I still have to kind of make an effort to think about looking right at the green dot, looking right at the camera that's right here on my laptop, okay? Um, otherwise, it's just me staring at myself. I also kind of like the idea of, uh, you know, maybe I'm a little more casual in this shot. Maybe I'm, I'm leaning back a little bit. Maybe that's not good. I don't know, but you have to, these are the decisions you have to make in your yard with what you guys have. Um, but you can see I've got one box to bring it up a little bit and that way I'm not looking down at my camera. My camera's not shooting up my nose. Um, again, we're trying to make eye contact and being eye level. So let's go get my script. I'm going to pull it back open and it, it doesn't look like I'm doing anything. I know um, it's because I've got my wireless mouse on my lap. I think the B-roll camera might be catching it and there it is. Okay. So I left off at this paragraph and since I'm already recording I'm just gonna give myself five seconds stare right at the camera and see if I can do this again I feel like I'm a little close to the laptop and I wish this is the only part about the laptop that stinks is that you can't actually zoom in in it so if the laptop camera or your cell phone camera could zoom in you can actually back it up a little bit and still zoom in and get the framing that you want and what that does is it puts you farther away from your uh, teleprompter and makes it easier to look straight at that camera and still make yourself, uh, still give yourself eye contact with that camera. So let's try this real quick and see if I can pull it off. In that way, the results were accurate. My assessment lists my strengths as flexible, goal-oriented, and problem-solving. When I take a closer look at each one of these, I feel as though they are also relatable. Yes, I tend not to do well with simple, mundane, or repetitive tasks. I like the excitement of doing new things at work. I don't think of myself as flexible, though, because I do not like change, and I prefer when people make a plan and stick to it. But I understand the importance of being flexible because things do go wrong. Often, you have to work around those changes. I've tried gold-oriented jobs in the past, and even though it is fun, when things go, are going well, it is very discouraging when they are not. I did a lot of sales when I was younger, and this type of results-driven work does not appeal to me as much anymore, even though it can be very lucrative. And remember, give yourself those five seconds at the end of your video before you hit stop. Uh, this has been an assignment called Getting to Know Me that my eighth graders are doing, uh, but also a little bit of how to record yourself in your home using what's around you. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Mr. York. Now go get to work.